This week on Arizona Illustrated, Emmanuel Abraham. It gave me a place to be, it gave me a safe environment. Music saved my life. Finding empathy. Compassion is the action that one uses in order to work with that patient. Chef Kumi in Tucson. Aramse is the name that I title my pop-ups, and it was the word used to describe a rainy day in Tucson, so a very rare occasion. And with your body, you can tell so many stories. Welcome to Arizona Illustrated. I'm Tom McNamara. We all know someone whose life was drastically altered by a chance encounter or an unexpected opportunity, or maybe it was you. Emmanuel Abraham was a teenager when he heard about a free class that would lead him down a new path and introduce him to people and places that he never imagined. I'm a violinist and a composer. I was 14 when I started the violin and I discovered the instrument from a children's program I used to watch. Shalom Sesame! It was called Shalom Sesame. It's a version of Sesame Street that's filmed in Tel Aviv, Israel. And uh, one of the guests on the show uh, had been Itzhak Perlman. Uh, and I was just enamored by his playing. He made it look cool and easy. And one of those happened to be correct. It's, it's a very cool instrument. <laughs> in an area of Chicago, it was inner city Chicago. Um, there was a lot of violence and crime. I got um, physically hurt there, um, nose broken, uh, I was burned with a lighter. Um, uh, I was at a knife point at one point. I had been begging since I was little to start the violin. And uh, when I was 14, that opportunity arose uh, spontaneously in, in a newspaper ad. There was an ad in the paper for a free lesson. So um, my family jumped on it. I was very shy as a child. And I wanted um, a way to be heard. And music was immediately uh, a path to do so. And it seems like as long as I was practicing and the more that I practiced, the more doors that seemed impossible kept opening. Uh, and that went straight into college, which I didn't have plans for. And so anything that was less than an A felt like a failure to me. And so from undergrad, I graduated magna cum laude. Um, and then from my, uh, from, for my master's, I graduated summa cum laude and summa cum laude again for my doctorate. Um, and again, it was like the, the practice, the more you put into it, the more good things happen. I discovered Mount Lemmon for myself when I came to um, the University of Arizona. Um, I had driven here from the University of Michigan, um, and as an inner city kid, you know, mountains were something that I'd you know seen a lot in documentaries, and but I hadn't really experienced them. And the whole way up it was just really uh, it was emotional for me. Um, just some of the most beautiful scenes I'd seen. Uh, in my life. 
And uh, so I've, I've been up here plenty since then. Um, and I've played my violin up here. performed in seven countries now. Um, states will take me some time to count. <laughs> hey, Evie. Hey. How are you? Hey. Good to see you. Ready to play? Mm -hmm. What are you going to play today? The whole song. The whole song? Let's go do it. Yep, let's go do it. I hope to always be able and uh, to always be working with every age group. Um, with every background, with everyone possible. Whatever I can offer to them, I want to give to them. That's the little bit I can give back. Good, good. So do you hear that this time? So you hear it now, how the, the pitch changes? So if, if it starts to sound high, I'll, I'll make a bass, and I'll remind you to say nope by doing this. Okay, but we don't need to do it like, you know, aloud, so you won't go. Nope. <laughs> Just think nope. Just think nope. Let's try again. I really feel that music, um, music saved my life. Um, it gave me a place to be. It gave me uh, a safe environment. Uh, allowed me to be heard. Uh, it saved me on many levels. So I have no, uh, no issue giving my life back to music. It's a, it's a debt of gratitude, there's nothing else.